we are going to make, <laughs> in today's video, we are going to make a little DIY pillow, like a little accent pillow. What do you think? I think it's a great idea because we already have 37 pillows, so let's make 38. <laughs> let's make one more. This one, you know how like all those palm, 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 tree? palm tree pillows are like, palm. Some kind of pillows. We've seen it for like ranging from like $25 to $35 and that might be a little too much for, for a pillow. pillow. We're thinking of DIYing our own and it's probably going to cost us like $10 or less. It's going to take like 10 minutes to make. Yeah, super easy. We're going to show you just how. You want to go to Target and get our supplies? We love to go to Target but we really, really suck at having lists so we're probably going to go there and, and have an idea of what we need. And then we're gonna buy a bunch of things that we don't need. And then we're gonna be like, oh man, we forgot something. I feel like everyone does that though. I feel like I'm not Oh the yeah, one. everyone does that. Everyone goes in with a list and comes out with things they don't need. But that's what you do at Target. Target's like Disneyland for adults. As a kid, you hate going to Target, but when you're older, you start to realize the beauty that is. Target, Target. I love Target. And we're not sponsored by Target. It'd be cool no. if we were, but. I'm... I know, that'd be awesome. But anyway, should we go? <laughs> yeah, let's go. You wanna drive? Just kidding! Aw, uh, I don't wanna drive. Then we got the fiber fill, which we're going to use to stuff the pillows and make them nice and fluffy. We also got some pom-pom trim to add around the border of the pillow to make it super cute. You're also going to need scissors and some fabric glue for this. First thing you want to do is take your placement and turn it around. Next, you're going to put pom-pom trim on three of the sides using the fabric glue and let it dry so it doesn't fall off or come off easily. After that, you're going to want to take the side that you didn't put a pom-pom trim on if you're going to cut maybe, what do you think, four or five inches? Enough to fit your hand in yeah, there. Yeah, just a little slit and that's where you're going to put the fluff in to make it fluffy and soft. Then you're going to want to take your fabric glue and close it off and I like to use gold clips to clip it in. Leave it on for like an hour so it dries up nicely and once you take the binder clips off it should be sealed shut. The last step is putting the pom-pom trim on that side that you um, just closed up and this would be the finished product. This is exactly what your pillow should look like, right? Yeah, super cute. You can take it to the beach with you for a picnic or you can just place oh, it oh. on... Yeah, you can take them anywhere. They're small and fun. I think they turned out really well. They did. And I they think look so. good back. <laughs> yeah, they do. Let us know if you make your own mini pillow. And tell us what ideas you guys have for them so we can take yeah. a look at what you guys did. Yeah, because you don't even have to use pom pom trim if you didn't want to. You can, you use, can like, use feathers. Well, I mean, if you're or into that. tassels, you know. That'd be cute. What are you don't know what tassels are? Oh, I know what tassels are. <laughs> what are tassels? <laughs> Okay, well you could use tassels. I think there's tons of different ways to customize these and make it I love them. I think they're cute. So make sure to subscribe to us in the yeah. box below. And this will probably be one of the easier DIYs you see us do. Definitely want to up it up. Up it. Amp it up. Amp it up. Amp it up. That's <laughs> gonna be something we plan on doing is making more like furniture type things like tables, chairs. You just say you're gonna make a chair. 
I can make it. We don't these need chairs. To. I made these okay, chairs. Okay, but they came like unassembled. I put them together. Uh, please subscribe and like this video and let us know any video requests down below. We, we already have so many in mind. We've gotten mentioned about challenges and, and things along that, which we think would be super fun to do. Yeah. Because I'm naturally competitive and she's naturally good at a lot of things. But because I'm competitive, I think it's gonna be like, you know, you might be better than me at this, but watch me excel. Okay. Trying to beat her in every challenge. I don't go easy on her because, I mean, she'll most likely win anyway, but what? make sure to subscribe below. Yeah. In the little box. And we'll be back next week for a new video. Mm -hmm. So have a good one. Bye. Bye.